Now, we're going to get into the FBI. We have things to do with the FBI. So, let's continue. Woman records very creepy visit by the FBI. Hmm. Three individuals who claim to be FBI agents visited a woman in Oklahoma. If there were examples of the Department of Justice becoming Joe Biden's personal stasi, this is it. They were there to ask the woman about an anti-Biden meme she posted on Facebook. Of course, she wasn't going to answer any of their questions, only declaring that she did did was was an exercise of her constitutional right to free speech on a social media platform. The agents gave gives a number for the FBI office in Oklahoma before departing. Can we just move in front of the house so the dogs don't go crazy? I need you to identify yourself and let me take imagery of your IDs. I'm not going to share my credentials on the phone. Um, so you said you were with the FBI? And why won't you show me your credentials? I didn't let, take a look at them. I said, one second, I'll be right back. Are you going to show me your credentials or no? Yeah, we did already. So, and we identified ourselves. So, what we'd like to do? I didn't look at your credentials again. I didn't verify them. I I told you to wait, and I went inside. Okay, that's correct. What we'd like to do is just have a conversation with you about some social media posts that you've made. Would you be willing to talk to us today about that? No, I would not. I would like you to to later talk on with my lawyer. Okay. Do you have identification Uh cards? No, no. I'll get back to you. Do you mind having your attorney uh, contact the FBI office in Oklahoma City? What's the number? What are the names of the agents? I'll go one for you. So you're refusing to identify yourselves? No, we've already identified ourselves. Again, I did not take a look. Okay, so the phone number for the FBI in Oklahoma City is 405-290-7770. Okay. If you just call me one day, and tell him that Facebook flagged me for posts. Uh, Facebook gave us a couple of screenshots of your accounts. Okay. So we no longer live in a free country and we can't say what we want. Uh, well, you can't arrest me for freedom of speech. We live in America. Exactly. So it's kind of weird that you want to come talk to me about me exercising my freedom of speech. All day long, talk to people. Okay. So, do you have a conversation with everybody on the neighborhood? Uh, do you have information with anybody else in the neighborhood? I mean, all I've done is exercise my right oh, no, just- as an American citizen <laughs> on a public social media platform with my personal opinions. Yeah. Correct? Okay. Most of the individuals, right, in America, especially older generation, right, have Facebook. Are you questioning all the citizens in America? Oh, oh. Okay, so you have concerns about my personal opinions? If you don't want to talk to us, then you do. I'm definitely not going to have a talk with you. Well, thank you for your time this morning, and feel free to reach out to us. Okay, they're so-called FBI. Uh, uh oh. This is Rola Abdel Jawad in Stillwater, Oklahoma. This is America. Oh, 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 all I'm going to say is people, 
If this happened, have your phones with you because they can't stop you. To the FBI agent that's watching me, just know <laughs> this, uh, you becoming the SS for Biden shows your true colors. Hey, we still know that Facebook is giving stuff to the FBI. Now, some more stuff about the FBI. <laughs> uh oh. You gotta love, you gotta love that Twitter, whatever you wanna call it. Why do I say that? <laughs> oh, because of this headline. <laughs> uh. Community notes wrecks the FBI over vi their violations of the rights of Americans. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. In case you missed it, FBI director highlighted the Bureau's compliance with Section 702 during the hearing at the U.S. Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. Learn more. And the, the readers out of context, the FBI have violated American citizens' Fourth Amendment rights 278,000 times with illegal unauthorized FISA 702 searches. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, I love it. I know that. <laughs> All I'm going to say is uh, if they're not FBI agents, if they're not FBI agents, all I'm going to say is their faces are on camera. Their faces are on camera. All right. Let's continue. The curious case of the man who who bought most of Hunter Biden's overpriced art. All right. How did the Central Intelligence Agency get threaded into Hunter Biden scandal? We don't know, but they interfered with federal investigators looking into Hunter Biden's activities. A whistleblower has come forward allegedly that Langley blocked investigators from interviewing attorney Ken Morris who is just a critical Hunter Biden ally, but the primary purchaser of his overpriced car. Mr. Morris paid Hunter's tax bills, helped subsidize his opulent lifestyle, and seemingly had the protection of the CIA. <coughs> Morris is a big Democratic Party donor. So protection from the Biden Department of Justice wouldn't be unusual, but the CIA? Mr. Morris appears to be a jack-of-all-trades character within the Biden orbit. Law professor Jonathan Turley, who disclosed that he was threatened by, with a lawsuit by Morris, broke down this intriguing tale. Morris was, just, was not just a money man for the crack cocaine addicted son of the president. He was and also an attack dog, reportedly organizing hit campaigns against the enemies of the Biden family. Look, look when someone loans you your son over six million, you better believe there's going to be some ironclad protection for that individual.
I got a question for you. When did I say he couldn't sell his artwork? When did I say he couldn't sell his artwork? When did I say that the man can't sell his artwork? And I'm, Pete, I'm not even saying that. I'm asking Hunter, when did I say he can't sell his artwork? I was just reading an article and that didn't even say that he couldn't sell his artwork. It said it was overpriced. When did I say that he can sell his artwork? That's the thing about it. Don't put words in my mouth like someone tried to do earlier on Rumble. Over on X. Don't put words in my mouth. All I said. I was reading the article. I let you guys see the article. When did I say Hunter Biden couldn't sell his artwork? Prove it to me. Send me a clip of me saying that. You said I said that he couldn't sell his artwork. You're conflating two different things. You said I said that he couldn't sell his artwork. Now you're saying that I, I'm saying he's selling access to Joe Biden. I bet I read articles. I give you my opinion of those articles. I let you see those articles. He was selling, and he probably still is selling access to his daddy. That corruption scheme that's been proven over and over and over again with congressional hearings. Yeah, there's corruption there. He was selling access to daddy. He made comments to a Chinese leader, a Chinese business executive that has ties to the 